The city metro train on the orange line runs every 15 minutes during the time between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. Let x be the waiting time of a randomly selected passenger between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. The waiting time can be any time from 0 minutes to 15 minutes with an equal likelihood of occurring, and therefore we can say the continuous random variable x has a uniform distribution with a minimum of 0 minutes and a maximum of 15 minutes. We indicate this using the notation shown here below, where a is the minimum and b is the maximum. So we have the random variable x has a uniform distribution with a minimum of zero and a maximum of 15. Number two, we're asked to use random variable notation to express symbolically each of the following. First, an event in which the waiting time of a randomly selected passenger is less than 12 or less than 12 minutes. This would be x less than 12. Next, the probability of an event in which the waiting time of a randomly selected passenger is less than five. This is the probability that x is less than five. And then finally, we have the probability of an event in which the waiting time of a randomly selected passenger is less than eight is equal to 0 0.53. This is the probability that x is less than eight equals 0 0.53. And now let's find some probabilities. We want to find the probability that it takes less than 12 minutes to wait for the train, more than five minutes to wait for the train, and between four and 12.5 minutes to wait for the train. We'll find these by hand and then verify the results using Desmos.com. Let's first set up the graph of the distribution shown below. Because we have a uniform distribution, we know the probability density function is a horizontal line graphed here. The minimum is zero, the maximum is 15, and the probability density function is f of x equals one divided by the quantity b minus a, where a is equal to zero and b is equal to 15, which gives us f of x equals one divided by the quantity 15 minus zero, or just 1 15th. So now we know the probability density function is f of x equals 1 15th, which means any rectangle formed using the x-axis and the probability density function has a height of 1 15th, this length here. That should make sense because notice how the total width of the interval from zero to 15 is 15 units. And we know the total area must be equal to one or 100% and 15 times 1 15th is one. So let's first find the probability it takes less than 12 minutes to wait for the train, which is the probability that x is less than 12. So let's say 12 is here. The probability that x is less than 12 is equal to the area under the probability density function from zero to 12, this area here. So let's go ahead and find that area. Let's use the formula of the area is equal to the base times the height. Well, the base is equal to 12 minus zero, or just 12, times the height, which is always 1 15th. 12 times 1 15th is 12 15ths, and 12 15ths simplifies to 4 fifths. We are told to express the answer as a decimal. 4 fifths is equal to 0 0.8. Next, we want the probability it takes more than five minutes to wait for the train, which is the probability that x is greater than five. So let's say five is here. The probability that x is greater than five is equal to the area under the probability density function from five to 15, this area here. The area, again, is equal to the base times the height. The base is equal to 15 minus five times the height of 1 15th. This gives us 10 times 1 15th or 10 15ths, which simplifies to 2 thirds. 2 thirds is equal to 0 0.6 repeating. We're told to round to two decimal places, and therefore we have approximately 0 0.67. And then for the last part, we want the probability that x is between four and 12.5 minutes, which is x greater than four and less than 12.5. So let's say four is here, 12.5 is approximately here, the probability the waiting times are between four and 12.5 minutes is equal to the area 
under the probability density function from 4 to 12.5. This gives us the area is equal to the base, which is 12.5 minus 4, times the height of 1 15th. 12.5 minus 4 is 8.5. 8.5 times 1 15th is 8.5 15ths. And let's go ahead and go to the calculator and convert to a decimal. Let's do this on Desmos. So go into Desmos, click Graphing Calculator, enter 8.5, divided by 15, enter. Running to two decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.57. Let's verify these probabilities using Desmos. Going back to Desmos in cell 2, let's click Functions, click the Distributions tab, click Uniform Distribution, enter the min of 0, comma, max 15, close the Desmos keypad, click Zoom Fit. Notice now we have a nice graph of the uniform distribution on the right. To find the probability that x is less than 12, click the Find the Cumulative Probability box. For the minimum value, enter 0. For the maximum value, enter 12. And notice how it does give us a probability of 0 0.8, which we found by hand. To find the probability that x is greater than 5, we're going to change the minimum to 5, and change the maximum to 15. And notice how we do get 0 0.6 repeating, which is approximately 0 0.67. Notice how it also shows us the area on the right. And for the last probability, we have the probability that x is greater than 4 and less than 12.5. The minimum is now 4, and the max is now 12.5. And notice how we do get approximately 0 0.57, which also shows as the area on the right. I hope you found this helpful.